first Hyperloop system will be built in the United Arab Emirates, Tesla to increase manufacturing automation, Uber rival car who shuts down, and more. It's Tuesday, November 8th, voting day, and this is Crunch Report. Welcome to the Crunch Report. It's voting day here in the US. Trump, Clinton, who are you gonna vote for? I actually don't care, but go vote. Mail it in, walk in, whatever. Today's the last day, bub. All right, here's some tech news. Hyperloop One and the United Arab Emirates are on the fast track to building out the first Hyperloop system. Today, Hyperloop One announced it would build the first commercial Hyperloop transportation system from Dubai to Abu Dhabi. The journey is 99 miles long and normally takes about two hours by car, but Hyperloop One promises it would take a mere 12 minutes in the Hyperloop. We'll wait and see if this actually happens which I hope it does, fingers crossed. Today, TechCrunch spotted a jobs tab on its admin page, and now Facebook confirms it's experimenting with a slew of recruiting features. A Facebook spokesperson tells Josh Constein, based on behavior we've seen on Facebook, where many small businesses post about their job openings on their page, we're running a test for page admins to create job postings and receive applications from candidates. Facebook is getting into recruiting. All right, let's summarize. Facebook takes on Slack with Workplace by Facebook, Craigslist with Facebook Marketplace, and now LinkedIn with this feature. It's only logical that the next step to compete with everyone else, I'm calling it right now, the Facebook car. I'm never wrong, pretty much always right. Facebook car, bet me on it. Send me money, put, it, put, put, your, put your money where your mouth is. I'm telling you right now, Facebook car. I don't know. So I've always had a question. Who builds the machines that build the machines that build the machines that build the machines. For Tesla, the answer lies with Grauman Engineering. Tesla announced today that it had acquired the company for its first major acquisition. Grauman is set to support Tesla's ambitions to produce 2,000 cars per week through increased automation of the company's manufacturing process. Unfortunately, we don't know the financial terms of the deal, and quite frankly, I'm still curious who builds Grauman's machines. Sketch. Technology giant Leico has been going through some serious growing pains in the past few days. Last week, company CEO Yu Ting Jia told employees that he would be taking some imminent actions to put the company's finances back on track. But North American operations lead Brian Hui told the audience at TechCrunch Beijing that the letter was not meant to send the message that the company is running out of money. This seemed to contrast against Jia's sentiments that 2016 had been the hardest year in the company's history. Hmm. So what is it, Lico? What is it? Were you hoping to hear news of a company shutting down that you never heard of before? I got you, baby. Carhu, a company that wanted to take on Uber by pulling together prices and offerings from competing car services into a single app, announced that it is shutting down its service and looking for the next step for its business after running out of money and failing to raise more. Carhu was active in London and started trials in New York and ambitions also to extend to Singapore. It also had an R&D operation in Tel Aviv, Israel. The company had been working on this for 18 months and many employees worked unpaid for the last six weeks. It's tough out there. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Civic on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. Go vote. It's time to vote. See you tomorrow.